Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I hope everyone's going to have a wonderful day today and I'm up with more from my personal haul. Yes, the ornaments. These are gorgeous and once made I'm going to be able to measure them. Ooh, they're so fancy and lovely and these can be used in a grungy way as well so I'm going to make one for tomorrow and I'm going to use um, my folio die again and just do a Christmas page and uh, use the words that I hauled with that folio die so that's what we'll do tomorrow but for today I've cut out you get four decorative pieces and three ornament shapes so I've used the uh, Tim Holtz craft foil um, cardstock to do this and it's a kind of antique gold so there's two of the layering ones there's another one isn't it lovely oh it's so luxurious looking and then this one I like this one because you could put pearls or beads or gems or anything into that and of course you can lay out different color pieces back in as well so what I've done is I've decided to stick with candy colors now to use these shapes you have to cut out your circle uh, ornament twice obviously I've done a blue one and a pink one and then sticking candy color again I've got the yellow and the plummy pink and these are in like that satin basil cardstock and that is from Joanne as is this so let's do the circles first and hopefully my glue bottle is going to work I just think they're so simple and so pretty now decide which way round you kind of you know want the grain of your paper so I'm going up down with my grain and we're going to stick this one first I do like this it's very kind of Chinese lantern I'm trying to be careful with my glue I'm going off to water all my trees in a bit got some very very warm weather coming I'm sure most people have but when it's in the 90s you know one's trees can really suffer so I want to get that down without getting too much glue everywhere I'm gonna let the glue dry on that one and we'll do the other circle isn't turquoise and gold wonderful I think that's so pretty and this one which reminds me of kind of fishing net remember those Victorian glass balls you could get in rope nets just like this that's what this reminds me of so if anybody kind of remembers those glass floats you know this would probably be a nice one to do with some alcohol ink on acetate and uh, do an ornament like that and if you've got a little fish hanging around you know so I'm gonna go to the top of there and then I'm gonna pick this up I hope get my fingers under it one of these days I'll grow my nails back but not yet and then just pop that on now I have seen the image of these and they are kind of overlapped on the circle which of course they would be because you've got to think about it going around the corner if you know what I mean so there's two aren't they sweet oh I absolutely love those you could use one on a card or you could put them on a box you know and have uh, one on each side of a, a really fancy Christmas box maybe you could emboss the side panels or something and then pop these on really nice I like this bit it's kind of upside down fleur de -lis. I'm 
quite looking forward to using my folio die tomorrow because it's it's one of those things really that's you know it's meant to stay on your desk and uh, be used all the time almost like a diary so anything daily going on you can just pop it into your folio right now I want this to go on straight so I need to shift that over to there and pop that down make sure my glue is sticking but isn't that lovely oh I do like that and looking at these they look mirror image to me which means that you could cut another pink one put it on the back because you know what our die cut machines are like look at that you know <laughs> all, all of that horrible stuff on my cutting plate that just embosses itself into the paper and uh, you can be you know really pretty on both sides and turn them into tags so really versatile but I'm looking forward to doing a grungy one tomorrow for uh, a Christmas folio page so there's our, our plummy colour so we've got our plummy colour our pink and that lovely turquoise and now we're going to go yellow and as I was saying you've got the holes there so you could pop different colours back in if you wanted to or gemstones and I might grab some gems actually and pop those in there I think I've got some of my um mirror metallic abalone left so I'll pause in a second and just grab them just going off down that little bit and then on uh on Friday we'll do the pixie hat that comes with the uh, the candy and everything right I just want to move that over because I'm not straight I'm gonna let that dry I'm just gonna grab my gemstones because I definitely you know feel that you could put something in there and I've got bits of glue drying all over the place right I'll just pause and grab those Ooh, well, I just found them and that's what they look like they're sort of like abalone in different colors but I've only got a few left so I'm choosing these yellow ones here and I'm gonna pop those in so I'm just gonna stick with the yellow and I've got two larger ones and I've got a small one so I'm gonna put a small one in the middle just so I can see what it looks like course you could use whatever color you want to but I'm just kind of sticking with the yellow just to see I'm gonna need more glue on that I think don't know if that one's gonna stick no my gold foil is uh, higher than my glue so I've got to be a lot more generous got those on there I don't actually know if these are straight or not because <laughs> I can't see but let's have a look right I'm just gonna let that dry for a second so that I'm able to pick it up in a minute right so that one's not fully dry but I'm gonna pick it up anyway but let's have a look aren't they great now you could use pattern paper if you wanted to but that little bit of foil is just a really nice touch of luxury I love that and that one just looks really special doesn't it it's kind of a little bit Rococo Rococo Fabergé yeah it's like having a handful of 
candy colored gems and then that one with the abalone even though the glue is still wet right that is what i've got for you today and i've told you what we're coming up with tomorrow so i do hope you have an absolutely awesome day and i'm off to water my trees as usual all the links below bye